Good morning, St. Kitts. Welcome to day five on the trip, day four on the ship. The time right now is 9.30 a.m. We've been getting off each port around this time. It's never that busy right now, so it's a pretty decent time. We got here at 8. So the plan for today is to go to Kakashel Beach. You ever won big money on the slots here? You know, you're never winning those things. No. You will get a big money today. And you play a thousand more times and you never win a star dime. <laughs> yeah. Everything gone. You feel like the minus. Yeah. Our taxi driver, he told us to call him Uncle Millie. He stopped over here for this beautiful view. I'm sure most cab drivers will do this, but check it out. That is a nice view. A donkey. Here's the other side. You can take a picture with a monkey or a donkey here. It took about 40 minutes to get here with that 10 minute stop. This is Kakashell Beach and you can pick between... They have a bar over there called Reggae Beach they call it. And then you can come down and pick any chair here you like. It's pretty much all the same. You can go anywhere you want. I think these chairs are a little cheaper than over there. The cab ride was $7 a person. This looks just okay. Uh, it's a public beach. But yesterday I didn't like it at the beginning and then I loved it, so let's see how this is. Over here, this is the view. The water looks nice and clear. The sand is pretty soft with some shells. Is this black sand from the volcano? So they have a little bar over here. I don't think there's any restrooms or anything like that here though. It got a little hotter now, so I'm definitely gonna go in the water. Let's see how the snorkeling is, how the sand is, and let's give this beach a little review. The water does look nice. We'll see how it is. Can't go in the water with this camera, so let's go to the GoPro. Uh, yeah. It's all shells and rocks so far. It gets a little bit better but not as soft as the other beach. It's getting softer as you go out a little bit. No, there's some rocks. It's a mix of everything. Mm, not the best bottom. It's a mix of rocks and shells. The water is pretty clear. But yeah, even the sand on the beach. Not loving it so far. Let's give it the good old snorkel test. Maybe I'm just being really picky because I've been to a lot of beaches now since I've been cruising uh, a couple years now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm picky. I'm very picky with the beaches. And this one is, nah, not on the list. I mean, the water is nice temperature, but the bottom is not that soft. I can't really see that clear underwater. The beach is okay. I don't know. What excursion would you do instead of this? It was, uh, so yeah, $7 a person to get here, and then it'll be $7 to get back, so $14 round trip. $10 for the chair and the umbrella. I don't know if it's just my goggles or what. Maybe the sun is not shining enough, but the visibility, I can't see that well. Let's see how it looks in the camera. Of sand has shells. It's just after two o'clock right now. And we're about to go back to the ship. So the good thing about this beach, it doesn't get too crowded. 
but overall I would just say it's okay I'm being very picky because I want you to have the perfect vacation so I'm letting you know my ranking on the beaches I know I'm being picky but I am thankful to be here still so don't take it the wrong way the one thing I really like is the view obviously you can't go wrong with that they do have a couple bars along the way jet skis over here and go for a ride it is softer over here a little bit if you do stay on this side where we first came in the reggae beach bar area the chairs are a little more but you do get wi-fi if it works i don't know but yeah the sand is a little bit nicer over here and in the water but there's still some shells over there but yeah just letting you know a little bit nicer over here but it's very crowded here more crowded than over there and you're like squished between everybody more people here by the bar back at the port I was falling asleep on that ride but it's hard to fall asleep because you're going up and down around the mountain so we're just going through the port shops as usual just to check it out and then food time you already know I gotta eat I think Kits has a lot of monkeys wild monkeys but we didn't really see any on the beach there we just saw the guys walking around with ones you uh, can take a picture with but I wanted to see some wild monkeys Back to ship. Let's go. I said it before and I'll say it again. Pretty much every store in the ports are the same thing, Except but different prices. Amanda got a shirt. This oh, you is got the this front. one? Yeah. And then this is the back. It says keep it funky with a little blue fish. So you got that one. So Sun, all... sand, and surf, good times. Okay, you got your as good as it gets. shirt souvenir. There's our monkey. Seems like deja vu. Drop off the stuff and go get some food. But that's what you do on a cruise. Overall, today was just okay. Uh, I didn't love the beach that we went to, but it was okay. I'm happy that we got to see St. Kitts. But uh, yeah, probably my least favorite port day so far. What about you? I liked it. You liked it? You thought it was okay? Um, Matthew's a little too picky. Well, I'm being picky for them so they know which beach to go to. I'm like, beach-wise, it's better than anything I have at home. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. I agree with that, too. But I'm trying to find... I'm being picky for you to find the best place to go while you're in port. Let's see. Yeah, say what's up. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Say hi to Matthew. Matthew! <laughs> what's good? Yeah, if you've been on Carnival Fascination before or if you've been to St. Kitts, let me know what is the best thing to do on this island. You could just stay on the ship and go swimming up here if you really wanted. But I think it's time for some guy burgers. And a burrito, or I'll skip the burrito. Pizza and a deli, maybe the buffet. We'll see. The best thing on the ship, guy's burgers. Yep. Every day, I gotta get one every day. I passed out after we ate. I went to lie down and I slept for a few hours. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm awake now though. But I'm ready to eat now. I'm actually not that hungry, believe it or not, but I'm still gonna eat. I think tonight we're gonna try to hit the crafts tables. $20 on the crafts tables only. I made a mistake, I didn't bring enough cash. Every day on the port it's about $50 for both of us. So I didn't think of that. We're not even doing anything expensive, but $50 covers the cab rides, the, the beach chairs, the umbrellas and and maybe buying a few things here and there but yeah maybe I can build it up at the craft table we'll see anything you buy on the ship you can charge it to your room except for the casino or the table games that's always uh, you need cash for that it's like Jurassic Park <laughs> you really can feel the ship moving tonight some big waves out there you can really feel the ship tonight it feels like turbulence on an airplane <laughs> Amanda just said that, so I turned it on and she said the same thing. I look so tired. Hold on, what did it say? Mm -hmm. Not bad. 
These ribs are good. The MVP of the night. Bam. So we're in the fun shop right now, and I realized why we're losing all our money now. Amanda wants to shop all the time. Now I know why we're running out of cash. Amanda's always shopping. You gonna buy some sandals? Choose fun. So windy right now. I feel bad for anyone that gets seasick because you can really feel the ship. It's so windy. I'm gonna go back inside. I have a dollar and a dream. I got twenty dollars. I'm gonna try to double it. I'm going to try to win on craps twenty dollars. Five dollars minimum at the Casino Royale. So let's go double this. Okay, mission accomplished. I was up and down, 5, 10, 15, and then finally got the 20, so I walked away a winner. Now we're just watching this guy, whatever he's singing here. Lighting is so off. I'm definitely not that red. Or am I? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is St. Lucia. We actually don't really know what we're doing tomorrow. So we'll have to see you in the morning. See you tomorrow. Good night.